Team Jackson, what's happening? So I just was reading this DM from a girl and she was telling me about, you know, this guy that she's dating. She's like 21, 22, so they're fairly young. Um, but it seems like his insecurities are getting in the way of them getting into a relationship. He seems interested, but it's always something that seems like he's trying to keep himself detached in a sense, like there's some type of insecurity. She still happens to be like a really pretty girl and intelligent, accomplished, all this other shit as well. So she's thinking that he may just be kind of intimidated. And what I told her was, it's like, you know, he may get over this. This may be something that he settles in and gets used to you or whatever. But the biggest thing is, are you willing to pay the price that it's going to take for you to wait for him to get over it, if he'll ever get over it? And right now you need to also understand that, you know, when you see those insecurities as a result of fear and fear is probably the, res the result of him believing that you can do better than him, that he's not on your level. You know, typically when we're talking about fear, natural human response is fight or flight flight being the most like fearful response at least what we associate with fear and it comes in a form when we're talking about dating in a form of emotional detachment you know let me keep myself from getting in a relationship let me try to bring up things that you're probably doing with other guys things that will you know make my ego be the problem or put my ego in between the two of us you know becoming emotionally attached at least on his end let me say things like oh you probably want that type of guy not me you probably want the rich type of guy more educated type of guy the guy that comes from this type of family like that's what flight looks like emotional flight looks looks like detachment now of course when you're talking about fight that actually could be one of two things depending on who he is the negative kind of fight is whenever a guy tries to control you or control the circumstances around you typically you see this more or less not just whenever you get in a relationship but definitely when things start getting serious whenever he's able to say don't go here don't go there why you got to be wearing that try to shame you and see if you'll go for that shit first off before y'all even get into a relationship but that's that's more of the fight like i know you can do better so let me try to manipulate you let me try to scare you let me try to convince you that nobody else would ever want you you can't do better than me like you need me to survive that's the type of toxic problematic unhealthy run for the hills don't wait for him to get over shit if that's his response now of course the flight is just more unattractive unbecoming but i don't necessarily think it's a deal breaker it is something that some guys get over but again fight is not all bad because there's a good type of fight when a guy will fight himself in order to get up on your level like matter of fact a couple actually was about seven or eight years ago now i'm getting old <laughs> up in north carolina uh, my guy, he, he had this girl that he had met and they hit it off really well. They got into a relationship, but she was not on his level, at least on paper. Right. So one of the problems that became like like a big deal for them and almost like broke them up before they eventually got married was that he was forgetful. You know, she would say things to him. Uh, she would mention things that she liked. But if she didn't like detail every single thing, damn near pressure him to do something. He just would not do it. And not because he didn't want to, but because he would forget. So this is what he started doing. That boy started keeping a calendar. Whenever she mentioned, this is my favorite color. This is what I'm into. Oh, that would be nice. He put it on his calendar. She said it, it went on his calendar for him to execute. Bookstore and chill, that's what she liked to do. He don't never like to read. She, he going to the damn bookstore within a couple of weeks. She liked red, purple, he getting the flowers in that color. You know, whatever, she liked the five love languages and shit like that. I ain't saying that he read the actual book, but he read the summary just so he could connect with her on something that was really important to her on things that she could relate to. It wasn't about him necessarily liking everything that she liked. It was about him putting forth energy and effort to show her that he wasn't bullshitting about her. And again, like I said, they're married now, I think five or six years. But that was him fighting for her once he realized that she was on a different level. He wasn't on that level, but fuck that. He going to fix that problem. You know, and that's not the only way that a guy can fight for you. There are several more. Actually, I go into detail about this in my book, Don't Forget Your Crown. So if you haven't gotten it yet, I'll extend the 50% off sale one more time at the link in the caption for those who haven't gotten it because you need to get it. But more of the story is this, man. I heard somebody say once, be equally yoked. Get somebody who's on your level. Get somebody who, you know, brings the exact same amount of value that you do to a relationship. I'm here to tell you that is not required for a healthy relationship. What's required for a healthy relationship is two people who see each other as worth fighting for. Of course, the person that's on a higher level, they have to fight in the form of not only having discernment to know whether or not the other person is worth fighting for, but having the patience for that person and saying, you know what, they may not be on my level yet, but I see them trying. Where they at currently is not so toxic that I can't hang in there and they're worth it. And a person who's not on that level to say, you know what? That person is above me and they, they on some shit I ain't used to, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes without losing myself to get up to that level. Long as two people see each other as worth fighting for to get equally yoked, if they're not initially so, then you can have something special. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Again, don't forget your crown. The 50% off sale is ending soon at the link in the caption. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.